How could sets of data with more or less the same statistical properties such as average value or mean and variance, how much the data are spread out from the average, look totally different when graphed? In 1973, the English statistician Francis Anscombe showed exactly how by giving a striking example. Francis John Anscombe, known as Frank, was born in 1918 in Hove on the south coast of England. He was educated at Trinity College, Cambridge. After serving in the Second World War, he joined Rothamsted Experimental Station for two years before returning to Cambridge as a lecturer. He moved to Princeton University in 1956 and in the same year was elected as a fellow of the American Statistical Association. He became the founding chairman of the statistics department at Yale University in 1963. Later, as the use of computers became more widespread, Anscombe became interested in statistical computing. He stressed that a computer should make both calculations and graphs. He wrote a paper in which he showed four graphs that became known as Anscombe's Quartet. The sets of 11 data points in each of the graphs were almost identical in terms of their basic descriptive statistics including mean, variance and correlation. Anyone looking at the numbers alone would have concluded that when plotted out as graphs with the usual x and y axes, the sets of points would have looked very similar. In fact, it was commonly assumed at the time among statisticians that once the numbers had been crunched, graphing was mostly irrelevant. Anscombe showed how off the mark that assumption could be. The four sets of data he constructed, despite having the same basic statistical properties, looked totally different when plotted out. The first yielded points scattered at various distances from a straight line of best fit. The second produced a smoothly arcing curve that was very obviously non-linear. The third and fourth data sets also gave rise to highly patterned arrangements of the points with the exception in each case of a single renegade outlier. Statistics can easily fool us if used incorrectly or if we fail to take in the whole picture of what's going on. As the baseball legend Yogi Berra once said, you can see a lot by looking. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on our channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.